the jungle consumes everything. He is no normal man. He was thought to be an evil spirit, a ghost in the trees. No man ever started with less. First off, thank you for talking to me and congratulations on the movie. Thanks, mate. Um, now, what's different about the film is it's not the same origin story that we would have seen quite a lot. Was it great to be able to explore those two sides of Tarzan, like pre going home and then when he's actually in London? Yeah, it was great to actually, this is uh, finding the beast rather than taming the beast, and that's very refreshing, actually. And um, starting with the buttoned up, this guy doesn't actually really fit in either world currently because he spent eight years living in, in England as an aristocrat. Uh, which obviously, having come from his particular background, uh, was not an easy transition to make, and it's one that he'd never really completely uh, made, as he discovers when he goes back to Africa and through the course of the film, the beast re-emerges uh, and he becomes totally at one with his world and happy to be there. We always used to joke with Alex that it was like the slowest striptease in the history of cinema. <laughs> yeah. They'd start completely like this in, Lo in London and then gradually he'd start to lose an item of clothing in every scene. <laughs> so by the time we got to Tarzan <laughs> in the final third, he was, he was yeah. practically dark naked. That them? You don't want to do that, George. Kill one and the rest won't stop until they're torn you to pieces. So how you want to play this thing? Their leader will come down, and we'll fight. Whatever happens, do not interfere. Understand? Uh-huh. And casting was so important. Did it take long to find Alexander and Margot? And was there a moment where you were like, oh, that's them? There was certainly a moment Smoke, where we yeah. thought, yeah, that's them. Yeah. Um, Alex, I, I thought right from the get-go, would be great. I liked, I loved his independent film work. So he, he was clearly a really clever actor. So, and he had some kind of following. So he wasn't a complete unknown. So he was a really good actor and he had a, for me and for us, yeah. he had a beautiful shape. Just a lovely... Which is an unusual length. combination, actually, yeah, as well. To be quite as, as physical as Alex is and to be mm. as, as good an actor as he is too. So yeah. we're very lucky. And Margot's Jane is so strong. Was it great to bring that character into the 21st century and have her be so independent? Yeah, yeah, it was terrific. Uh, and yeah. she, wouldn't have, she wouldn't have joined if she hadn't felt that about the character, I don't think. Yeah, she was determined to yeah. make her feisty. And, and they have such great chemistry, actually, the pair of them. They do. She's like a tomboy, Margot. She's like mm. one of the... She's one of the... She's one of the girls, but she's one of the boys mm. as well, you know. So, I don't know if it's the Australian in her, but she's very earthy and very real. And what, that was perfect for Jane. He's Tarzan, if you're Jane. He'll come for you. And tell me about getting Hosier on board to write the song. How did that come about? God, we're so lucky. We're really lucky. Yeah. I want healed and shaken through. Chase the memory of it still, of every cheer. The head of uh, Warner Music, uh, or the head of music at Warner Brothers, not Warner Music, uh, uh, Paul Brucek, um, uh, had the idea. Uh, and he, uh, he sent a demo to David and I, uh, which was just terrific. Uh, and with a little bit of work, in a very short space of time, uh, he came up with a song that was so beautifully organic to the film. Uh, you know, so often they can feel uh, like tagged on the end uh, just for the sake of having a song, but uh, it, his song feels so organic to this film, speaks to it. I didn't say it to him, but I almost thought when I heard it, I thought, wow, we spent two years making that film. We could have <laughs> just spent, banged this song He spent a fortnight, right? I know, because yeah. um, it, it kind of, it's got all the um, emotional stuff yeah, it. In really it. has. It's yeah. lovely. He did a great job. There's no fear, beckons above me, there's no fear. 